folks, I'm Jason Bowes with OutdoorProductReview.com. Today we're continuing on with the 2009 bow review. We're actually testing out the Admiral from Bowtech. All right, we have two Bowtech Admirals this year. We have a female's draw length or a, or a youth's draw length. It's set from 40 to 50 pounds with the 24 to 30 inch. We'll cover all the uh, specs as far as how the bow is. And then this one is, of course, a 70 pound model set at 29 inches. Now Jody's going to be drawing back her bow during the review. You guys are going to see that, see it being shot, and it is uh, set at about uh, roughly 45 pounds or so to 50 pounds. It's in between there, and the, the draw length set at 26 inches. So, a um, few things about the uh, Bowtech Admiral is that you know, like like last year, they had the in velvet finish on them. Both of the Admirals are come set up with that. All the Bowtech bows are coming in with this in velvet finish, which is really nice, nice and smooth doesn't allow any kind of noise and there's just a slight tap it doles it out so that it's not going to be echoing throughout the woods all right Botex come out with the roller guard system here which actually increases the speed of the arrow plus it also uh, allows for you know less drag on the on the cable slide and all they do is they serve the uh, strings right here and it, it allows it to uh, roll smooth and of course you know you gain more speed that way all right, one of the other things that we're going to talk about is the, you know, sound vibration dampening system that they have on it. Same thing with Bowtech. They've had on their bows since uh, pretty much I started shooting them about four years ago. Uh, these will shoot pretty good for about maybe five, six hundred arrows, and then they'll probably flip off. Uh, but, you know, you can always put your own stuff on there as well. They do have the new STS-type carbon rod. It's like the, uh, the shock absorber rod on the Admiral. Iceman had it. You saw the Iceman review that had it as well. We're using the hostage rest for all our reviews this year. So, uh, you know, it's a quick, a quick capture rest that you can go ahead and just throw an arrow in there, set it up, sort of eye it up, put a laser on it, whatever you want to do, and you're ready to shoot. All right, a little bit about the Admiral. Right, the brace height on the Admiral is actually seven and a half inches. So you got a pretty good brace height on here. You have real short limbs very long riser with their center pivot limb technology that they've come out with and it reduces a lot of the shock. Now having a long riser like that with a long brace height, you all have heard me say, it's very, very forgiving when you shoot the bow because the longer brace height allows the arrow to correct a little bit more before it gets to the uh, to where it's going to come off of the string. So that's really nice. Those short limbs really turns over and powers the, uh, the arrow down through the, uh, the cams that they have. The binary cams that they have on the Admiral are self-adjustable for draw lengths without modules. It has a self-rotating module on there. Now the great thing is you can take this from 24 to 30 inches just by taking out the three screws on each side and rotating them accordingly. Um, you know, this, this one here, 70 pounds, like I said, Jody's comes from 40 to 50. The axle axle on the Admiral is 31 and a 16. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's pretty short axle-to-axle -axle length beyond parallel limbs. So, you know, you really get those short limbs and uh, you get a shorter axle-to-axle. -axle. However, your riser is just about as long as your axle-to-axle. -axle. So it's really One other nice. thing about the Admiral is that the uh, adjustable let off is from 65 to 80 percent. So whatever kind of let off you guys want, depending on what kind of hunt you're doing, you can set the uh, let off to be there. Of course, you know, higher let off that you have, at like 80%, you're going to have slower speeds. If it's at 65%, you're going to get going a lot faster. So you guys, you guys will be uh, really happy with that. The water dog dipping that they do there at Bowtech is really awesome. Uh, it just comes out with crystal clear pattern, and then they put on the in velvet finish, and it really makes it nice. You know, it's a, it's a solid bow, very, very well kept together. I like their two piece wooden laminated grip. Uh, it's definitely yeah, something to do nice the draw test and see how it works. We have the Admiral here, we're going to do the draw test on it. All right, one thing I want to tell you, we're using that Victory Archery Arrow. That's 392.7 grains, so I'm sort of calling it 393 grains. Um, we got that black knock that we used. We had to replace the knock on this, but it's still the same grains. No problem at all. Pull it back with our True Fire release, and we'll see how she does. I haven't even drawn the bow back yet, so I'm pretty excited. All right, coming back. Goes right through the valley. Valley's sort of nice. Not much of... Not, not much play at all. I mean, it comes back solid right at 29 inches, and I mean, it's just dead stopped right there. Let's go ahead and try and creep it a little bit. Well, you can you can come forward quite a bit with this. I mean, I'm coming forward. I'm letting off quite a bit, and it just comes right forward. No problem at all. I like that. It's solid, dead at 29 inches. I mean, it's not even moving. Right, torquing it. 
you can't really torque it. It's got a thin neck on it, and I usually like a little thicker grip, but it's not moving at all when I torque it. And I can sit here and hold this thing all day. And it's 80% let off. I can hold it pretty much forever. Let's go ahead and shoot it see how it sounds. See if there's any. I'm going to keep my fingers open. Didn't even move. Just fell right back in my hands. Very quiet. Didn't make any sound at all. Arrow flew true. Really nice. Let's go ahead and shoot it one more time. This time we're going to shoot it. You'll be able to see from the side and also see from the back of it. See if there's any kind of kick or torquing or anything along those lines. We're going to go ahead and shoot it again. Comes back. Draws. You know, it's a solid draw throughout. Not much of a valley, but you come back to a solid wall. And you can actually creep forward, so it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and shoot this thing. Alright folks, you know, draw test on it, very smooth, uh, not much of a valley, comes back to a solid wall, uh, you can creep forward a good bit, when you shoot it, zero hand shock, zero noise, um, you know, I'm, you'll see right here on the chronograph testing, you know, we're shooting 390 some feet per second, so we definitely got a consistent speed out of it, we shot the Victory Archery Arrow, 392.7 grains, 393 grains, uh, it was just, it just shot awesome. There was hardly any noise at all, and I think the noise that I was hearing was coming from the target with the arrow being about 15 yards away. So, uh, the, you know, the arrow gets down there just as soon as you release the bow, so it's very, very nice and smooth. Uh, we did get, it was about 294 feet per second, you know, and that was the average on this bow, and it really shot just beautiful. 70 pounds, 29 inches. You know, my favorite bow is right around 300 feet per second, and this is as close as you're going to get. All right, overall, on the whole bow itself, you know, the, the look of it, the feel of it, the way that the camo's on it, the the, uh, the in velvet finish that they have on it, the way that the roller system works, the quietness, the hand shock, this is a 9.99 in my book, almost 10. You know, the only thing I could say is if it had just a little bit more of a value, it would be a 10. But uh, you could creep forward with it. It doesn't torque at all in your hands. So overall, the bow itself, I give the Bowtech Admiral this year a 9.99. And it is outstanding. I definitely will recommend this to anybody who's out there looking for a new bow this year, especially for hunting or anything. Not too heavy at all. Packs in quite nice. Um, I like it. So, you know, if you guys are looking for a new bow, definitely look at the Admiral. Uh, you know, get a chance to shoot as many bows as you can and make up your mind for yourself. But from this review so far, this year, this one's the, the top one so far this year, and that's the Admiral. 9.99 in my book. That's what I have to give it. You see Jody shooting her bow, smooth as could be. She likes shooting it. No hand shock, no noise for hers. Of course, being set at 45 pounds, was really no noise. There was no noise out of this whatsoever. You guys can hear it on the film for yourself. All right? I'd like to thank Jody for coming out and filming for us today. Uh, shooting the bows is something we love to do. So uh, for OutdoorProductReview.com, I'm Jason Ballas, and we're going to see you on our next bow review.